In this video, we'll take you to iconic spots like Pike Place Market and the quirky Gum Wall. You'll also join us on a stunning Sunset Harbor tour and visit to Cary Park for those famous Seattle sunset views. We'll show you where to enjoy inexpensive seafood with a great view and where to find the best Seattle style hot dog. Plus, you'll get a sneak peek at the hustle and bustle on I-5 and tour three downtown apartments with incredible rooftop views. So whether you're planning a short visit or thinking about a more permanent move, join us as we explore the charm and excitement of Seattle in just 48 hours. Let's get started. All right, so right behind me is the very original, the first, the number one Starbucks ever. So right behind me, um, as far as I know, it's just a Starbucks. The line is normally super long, and I don't think they do anything special that you can't get any other Starbucks in the world, but this is the first one. So if you're a Starbucks lover, when you come to Seattle, gotta stop by there and get yourself a coffee. All right, so this piggy bank and Pike's Market, um, 20 years ago or so, our kids used to like to get up here and set on it. Um, they won't do that anymore. They're all grown up, but uh, piggy bank here at Pike's Market, I think we used to call it Petunia, where our kids used to call it. And we have a lot of memories of our children hopping up on here. Okay, so for a city that's famous for kind of being weird, one of the weirdest points of interest is this behind me, the gum wall. And we're right below Pike's Place Market. And there are literally millions of pieces of gum stuck to the wall around here. I have no idea how this tradition got started, why it got started, but I, I could, it's been here for at least 20 years. The first time I came here was over 20 years ago and it was here then and it's still here now and there's even more gum. So it seems like there's been no effort to clean it up, but the Seattle gum wall, one of those weird things that maybe you have to see when you're in Seattle. Okay, so we're out here on the Seattle waterfront and I just went to the Frankfurter best dogs in town and I have a Seattle style hot dog. And so what's a Seattle style hot dog you might ask? Well, it, the basic thing is it has cream cheese on it. It has uh, sauteed onions and peppers and a nice toasted bun and we have some cream cheese. So I've never had a hot dog with cream cheese on it. So this is supposed to be Seattle style. So let's give it all a right. go. So let's see what this Seattle style hot dog is all about. All right, so well, the onions are very good. The um, peppers are good. The hot dog's good. The bun's good. Cream cheese, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's not, not terrible. Um, I think it's enjoyable. I, I don't know if I would put cream cheese on my hot dogs at home, but um, interesting and uh, something I, I definitely recommend you try when you're in Seattle. Go to the Frankfurter and get you a Seattle style hot dog and it's really quite delicious. We're at Ivers down uh, on the waterfront in Seattle. This place is kind of an institution here. We've got some fish and chips, some clams, um, some clam chowder, and we've got a lot of seagulls who are hungry. So it's kind of like running a gauntlet to come down through here to get past the seagulls. But um, yeah, so here we go, fish and chip at fish and chips and uh, clam chowder at Ivers on the waterfront in Seattle. So this halibut is really good. The, um, the fried clams also good, but this clam chowder is excellent. Um, a huge bowl, it's delicious, and um, has some nice big pieces of clam in it. 
only eight dollars and i thought that was kind of a, a bargain actually for seattle so we paid eight dollars for the seattle dog now the seattle dog was very good and the more i ate it the more i liked it I actually think the cream cheese adds something to it, so it's quite tasty, but I thought $8 for a hot dog was a little expensive. But this, I, I think is a very good de uh, deal for a meal, and it's right on the waterfront. You have to deal with a lot of wild, loud squeaking seagulls, but uh, an excellent um, fried fish meal, and the clam chowder is mm, superb. And we've got the Puget Sound right behind us, and um, we're gonna take a, a cruise later on the, to go out on the waterfront around sunset. So that should be fantastic. So yeah, it's looking like a great day here in Seattle, the Emerald City. If you're looking for the perfect way to end your day in Seattle, the Argosy Harbor Sunset Cruise is a must do. As the sun sets over the city, you'll glide across the water with breathtaking views of the skyline, the Space Needle, and the majestic Olympic Mountains in the distance as the sun sets over Elliott Bay. Relax on the deck, enjoy a drink, and take in the vibrant colors of the Seattle sunset. It's the perfect way to end your day in the Emerald City. Don't miss this incredible cruise. Subscribe and hit the bell for more Seattle adventure. Back in Seattle. Oh yeah. Had a great harbor cruise. Beautiful day for a commute in the Puget Sound area. So if you look at this traffic, you might think, oh, it must be rush hour. This must be due to uh, road construction or some special event, but no, it's 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. I would think most people would be at work by now. And this is the traffic situation. And I think based on the times I've driven here, um, getting close to Seattle, this is pretty much normal, everyday traffic. It's kind of bumper to bumper. We're on the um, we're on the interstate, Interstate Five, going north, Seattle, and as you can see, we are we're not moving very fast. I'm going about between 15 and 20 miles per hour on the Interstate Highway. So there you have it, driving in the Pacific Northwest, specifically the Puget Sound area, is not always a lot of fun. Welcome to our apartment hunting adventure in Seattle. Today, we're exploring some incredible apartments in a city that boast amazing rooftop spaces. Whether you're after panoramic views of the iconic Space Needle, a cozy evening around a rooftop fire pit, or hosting friends for a barbecue with a waterfront backdrop, these apartments offer stunning amenities though they do come with high rent prices. All right, so we are at Cary Park to get the iconic Grey's Anatomy view of Seattle with the skyline, got the Space Needle, and if you look We've also got Mount Rainier. It has been fairly cloudy all day, haven't seen it all day. And then we get up here to Cary Park, which is obviously on a hill and uh, we can see uh, Mount Rainier. So it's almost sunset and yeah, looks pretty nice. Great night here in Seattle. Thanks for joining us on our 48-hour apartment hunting adventure in Seattle. We hope you enjoyed exploring the city sights, 
sampling the local flavors, and checking out some of the best rooftop views downtown. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more travel and lifestyle content. If you're thinking about making Seattle your home or just planning a visit, drop any questions or thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.